Hello folks, in this video I'm going to show you how to start up a new Cloud9 workspace and get the code running that we've been doing in class. Uh, the code that I'm going to get running is the starting point for assignment number one. So first off, just let me show you that I've downloaded this cart underscore API dot zip from Moodle and you should be able to access that from Moodle and have it somewhere on your local system so you know how to get access to it. So let's leave that there for now. I'm going to close this window. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to sign into Cloud9. Everybody should have an account. So let me sign into my account. Now, for assignment one, it's best if you start a new workspace. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go up to create new new workspace. I'm going to create a new workspace. We're going to do PHP. And I'm going to call this Assignment 1 Starter. Just so we know what the purpose of it is. So that's the name. It's PHP. Let's go ahead and create it. You'll notice over here it's being created and we see the gear spinning telling us stuff is being done. Okay, it looks like it's ready, so we're going to start uh, editing. So it's going to open up our Cloud9 environment and in just a second we're going to get all the standard information. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to close down the README. And I'm going to open up the command line interface a little bit here so you get to see the whole thing nice and clearly. So, we have a brand new workspace designed for PHP with just the sample code in it. The first thing I want to do is get the API starter code up into the workspace. So, to do that, I'm going to go to the file menu. And I'm going to say upload files. Now for us, we're going to select files. You can drag and drop if you like, but I'm just going to select the files from my drive. And the file I'm going to select is cart underscore API dot zip. As soon as I say OK, you'll see the files uploaded right away. You see it over here on the left. So I can now close this. Now, this file is a zip, so before I can work with it, I have to make sure I unzip it. In that case, I'm going to use the command line to do it. So the first thing I'll do in the command line is I'll do ls. That means show me a listing. And I see that I'm in the correct directory because there's cardapi.zip right there. So, the next thing I'll do is I'll simply do unzip card API zip, and there we go. We get a lot of stuff here. I'm just going to do control L. That clears my uh, window, and if I go up here, you'll see the card API has been unzipped, and we have all the data here. Now, we have all the scripts that are prepared to go. We have everything ready, except we don't have the database. But if you look here, I've given you a file named cart underscore API dot SQL. That is the, the SQL statement required to build the database for this project. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cd in my command line into the cart API directory. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get the database initialized for the workspace in general. So I'm just going to say my SQL dash CTL and I'm just going to say start. What that's going to do is it's going to bring in all 
it's just going to start up our database. But right now, our database is blank. It has no tables in it. How can I check that? Well, I can just do MySQL dash control, and I can go CLI, which is the command line interface. I can say UC9. That's our, our database name. Control L to clear. And if I do show tables, I don't get anything. So what we need to do is we need to build the database from that file. So I'm just going to quit out of MySQL. And let's just open up the card API file to show you. There's a whole bunch of stuff in here, but basically we use C9, then we create the cart table, then we create the product table, then we add some products. I'm going to show you in another video how to make this file. But for now, how are we going to use the file? We're simply going to go MySQL control all command line interface less than card api.sql the less than stands for a redirect it says instead of taking all of your commands from the keyboard take it from this file here so if everything goes well i shouldn't get any output at all so how can I check if this worked? Well, let's go back into MySQL and go back in the CLI again, the command line interface, and I'm going to use C9. And this time, if I show tables, I have my cart table and my product table. As well, I can select star from products uh, sorry for product and I get the four uh, trial products so let's clear that and let's exit out of here it looks like I have everything ready to go so let's test it out so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run the project and that's going to start up Apache and then going to copy the URL here. Now, make sure you copy using a right click and choose copy. Now, I'm going to go up here and I'll open up a new tab. I will paste in the URL and you'll see I get a directory. If I go into Card API, I see all of the different um, scripts that we made. The most basic script is Get Products. So there we go. If we get the products, we get all of the JSON that represents the product. Okay, I'm going to leave it there for now. Those are all the steps required to get ready to do Assignment 1. I'm going to do another video which is going to show you the results of assignment 1. I'm going to show you what should happen when assignment 1 is done. So thanks for listening and if you have any questions at all, please let me know. Have a great day.